early days in hiding, the food was still good and quite varied. The helper Meep Hees did the shopping. She had good links with the butcher and grocer. But the war led to food shortages and the quality deteriorated. Meat became almost impossible to get and the group in hiding often ate the same thing for weeks. They'd have a chicory period, or spinach, or lettuce, or beans. And potatoes. Potatoes were almost always on the menu, from breakfast to dinner. Anne didn't mind, she wasn't keen on the greens. It is not nice at all to have to eat sauerkraut, for example, every day at lunch and at dinner again. But when you're hungry, there are lots of things you put up with. Now, however, we're going through the nicest period of all because we're not getting any vegetables at all. In 1944, it got worse. The people supplying the ration coupons were arrested and the shortages increased. When there was no fat at all left to cook with, their meals were sometimes plain nasty. The lowest point was the kale and mash on the 14th of March. You wouldn't believe the way kale, that has probably been in the barrel for a few years, can stink. It smells like a mixture of toilet water with rotten plums and a dash of preservative plus 10 rotten eggs. Blech! The mere thought that I have to eat that swill makes me nauseated. Thanks to a helpful grocer, the group in hiding at least had enough potatoes for a while. He delivered them to the private office while the warehouse workers were at lunch. But on the 25th of May 1944, he too was arrested, along with two Jews he was hiding in his own house. A tragedy for him, his fugitives, and the eight people in the secret annex. That means we'll all have to go hungry, but nothing could be as bad as being discovered. <laughs> 